and he delivered his lines well. The problem isn't with his performance. The problem with his, is with his underlying uh, theories and, and fundam some fundamental dishonesty that we saw last night. The president came in, treated people like adults, talked about what we need to do to move this country forward, rebuild the middle class, rebuild this economy. And, and Governor Romney came in and basically played a shell game. You guys know this. Joe, you're, you, 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 uh, you used to deal with these issues in Congress. Uh, he wants to cut uh, personal income taxes by 20 percent, corporate taxes from 35 percent to 25 percent, extend the Bush tax cuts and the alternative minimum tax. That's five a trillion dollars, whether he likes, likes it or not, or whether he wants to admit it or not. And he says he's going to do that all without adding to the deficits. How? He didn't say it last night, uh, and that's why most analysts have said he's either going to explode the deficits or stick it to the middle class. Well, on Medicare, he said, uh, we're not going to hurt one, ex one senior uh, on Medicare by repealing Obamacare. He's going to raise, uh, he's going to cut benefits for, uh, for uh, seniors across uh, America. He wasn't honest about that. You guys have the tape of him saying, we don't need any more teachers. Uh, last night, he couldn't say enough about teachers. I don't want to cut teachers. I want more teachers. That's not what he said. So, I mean, again and again and again, he told a story to the American people that's completely uh, 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 in contrast with what he said before and un, uh, un, unfounded in fact. And that's going to catch up with him. I think that uh, I give him credit for a strong performance. I give him an F for being honest with the American people.